channel right here and today uh, I'm just going to do a little tutorial in the um, mission editor um, for Missile and Zone. It's a pretty useful one if you want uh, forces to react to uh, a weapon that's incoming rather than after it struck something. Um, could be a useful one in your missions or scenarios. Um, so we'll just quickly show you how I do that. Um, Remember, you can use this on any ground, uh, naval, or air unit. Uh, so this is just an example. So if I just put down a uh, friendly ship, there it is. I'll just give it a uh, speed of 25 knots, and then I'll just add a few waypoints for it. There you go. So we've got our friendly unit in there. We'll put a uh, opposing Russian unit. To name the group so it's not similar. Um, it's just a good practice to name your groups and uh, units and things like that. Makes it a lot easier if you've got a, a lot on the map. Uh, set this off at uh, 27 knots. Um, let's have it coming down here. There you go, so we've got the uh, the enemy, the, we've got the red four and the blue four opposing factions. So, um, but by the way, I'm using this uh, current hill mod here for this modern Russian ship. It's a lethal beast, really. It's got a lot of modern anti-ship missiles and cruise missiles on it and things like that. So, uh, yeah, it's worth checking out this current hill's uh, Russian uh, ships. Right, uh, so we've got that down. So back to the topic, which is uh, missile in zone. So what I'll do is, what you need to do is just put down a trigger. And we'll just call it weapon zone. Oops, weapon zone. There we go. Make it a square one. Click edit. Let's give it a nice yellow color. Right, so we uh, that's a weapon zone. Now anything in this zone um, will uh, will cause an action. So this is a bit of a, a rubbish ship. So uh, that's not going to fire back at that. So we'll just we'll use a a uh, a plane to take off to attack this. That'll be a good idea. So if I go to Sukumi here and just go to uh, planes aerial one will do US um, anti-ship we'll call it and we'll give the old JF-17 a run out so there you go and uh, take off from a ramp make sure you press uncontrolled click on triggered actions and then you'll need to Click on uh, perform command wheel down to start. So that's dormant. It's basically just an empty plane until it takes off. We'll just uh, give it a couple of uh, anti ship missiles. There you go. Two anti ship missiles. We want this to do. Let's do an anti-ship strike. So um, let's just have it coming out here. Take it to at least twenty thousand, and then um, perform task attack unit, and it's going to attack that naval unit weapons. Um, anti-ship missiles and uh, release them all so that's it um, is there anything else I need to do oh yeah I usually put uh, on the JF-17 click actually on the plane go to add and then um, options 
Return the base when out of ammo, so when it's fired off these anti-ship missiles, I want it to return the base, so that's that. Okay, that's that. Another thing um, is, I don't know if this is a bug or not, but I did test this before. And when I have it, uh, when it's on anti-ship, when you click on the the actual plane on the apron of the base, um, it wouldn't it, it wouldn't gain any altitude. It basically stayed low, seven hundred feet above the water. So just. I just deleted anti-ship from that, that and uh, that was it. And it worked all right with just attack base. Um, I don't know if that's just a bug for the JF-17. Usually I would just put, choose anti-ship strike, put a waypoint out, and that waypoint would say anti-ship, and it would just hunt for any ships, which is ideally what you wanted to do. But uh, as I said, it didn't really work and there's only one unit on here I've just uh, wanted to attack this specific unit so there we go so I'll just quickly recap we've got our friendly ship we've got our enemy ship um, and these are um, this is going to trigger this flight once uh, once it detects a uh, a missile in the zone. I'll just bring this closer because um, I don't want to wait around too long. Right, that's that. So uh, next thing, you just go to uh, set rules for triggered actions. Go new. You name this. I won't bother because um, it's only one trigger we're using today. And then you just go down to um, missile in zone. Oh, it is missile in zone. Now, if I had any hair, I would be pulling it out because uh, this was really bugging me last time I did it. Right? Okay. So this is the, the the this is what this is all about. So triggered action. There you go. Condition. Normally, you could put a list of conditions in with a, a list of consequences actions. Let's say what it is called actions, and uh, it would just go down the list, and it would just trigger whatever you've got but for some reason missile in zone it acts differently so this ship here has two types of uh, anti-ship missile it has the caliber uh, anti-ship missile but it also has the p onyx uh missile uh p800 onyx anti-ship missile and uh, it's going to fire this one, this Onyx first, but sometimes it will fire the um, the Calibre anti-ship cruise missile. So I put in here the Onyx, or, and then I put another one in, which was a Calibre, and it just would not fire, because what what the, what the trigger was was waiting for was both of those missiles to be in the trigger zone so it wasn't and i couldn't figure out why it wasn't triggering because normally if you have two options in there it will trigger it goes down the list uh, but it read it as me meaning that those two missiles had to be in that zone before it triggered so if you want to uh cover cover yourself um with the triggers then make sure you put them both in and uh, the zone is in a uh, weapon zone. You could have a value of don't trigger until it's a couple of missiles in. That's up to you. I've just left it at one. And the action is um, AI set task is start my air aircraft up. And that's it. It's all set. So the proof of concept, let's, uh, let's run that uh, mission. Okay, so here is my uh, Russian ship. Have a quick look at it. And this uh, model is by Current Hill. He's doing some super stuff with uh, modern assets. Excellent model.
Corey Neal has also done uh, a Chinese ship and American ships as well. Um, yeah, worth checking out, as well as the Swedish uh, assets pack he's released. So just waiting for him to um, to fire his missiles. Okay, so I've added in a Russian AWACS because uh, the missiles weren't firing, so uh, I don't know if that's to do with the curve of the Earth and it couldn't see over I'm not sure well it must have been because now it's firing so if you're using this and you want it to uh, fire around the curve of the earth put an AWAX in the sky so there you go it's onyx or out let's have a look at it very fast missile Something faster and faster as it goes along like a lot of anti-ship missiles uh, down low towards the sea. So there you go, it's on its way, so we'll wait until it gets into the zone and then this should trigger. We'll know it's triggered because we'll see a pilot. There we go, enter the plane. And he's starting up. I don't give him much of a chance against the ship, but there you go. In fact, probably no chance at all. But it was just to show that um, that trigger. And there he goes. As I said, I think there was a bug with the JF-17. It doesn't really, on an anti-ship, cold start in AI it doesn't seem to um, want to climb it will still fire its missiles but it will just crash into the sea because they're not at a uh, appropriate uh, altitude to be deployed let's just make sure it does uh, I'm just going to make sure it does actually Gain altitude. I told it to uh, get to Angels 20, so we'll see if that happens. Yeah, he's rising. That's to 20, and there you go. He's deployed his um, anti ship missiles. There they go. Going down to sea level, or just above sea level. Two of them. And I also told him to return home once they were set. So it's just a workaround if it does bug out. As I said, on on MIGs and things, it seems to work, the anti-ship order. But, um, yeah, and I'm sure it did on this. I don't know if it was just human error on my part, but uh, yeah, it wasn't working very good. Anyway, uh, it's worked on this instance. And uh, we can just see this through if you want. As you can see, the, uh, the ship has deployed missiles to intercept these missiles and the missile missiles can't see the ship there's one destroyed and there's a give me a jump that there's a second one there's a an ship the anti air missile there that it used so there you go, that was a, uh, turned out to be a big, it sank the, uh, the ship as well. But my aircraft's so okay, it's uh, returning to a uh, home plate. So that was a big uh, story about how to do that. If you want the ship t uh, to shoot missiles around the curve of the earth, put an AWACS down. Um, the point of this um, video was to show the uh, trigger zone, missile in zone. Um, 
and the important thing is don't don't put list your missiles in one trigger because the trigger expects those um the whole list of those missiles to uh be in the occupy the, the the trigger zone at the same time so it won't trigger anything you'd have to put separate triggers down for each type of missile and that's it hope that was fine um i've been channel right if you like please uh like press the like button and subscribe a dot